All right, so well done, my man. Thank you. This is now, the show's over. How was that for you? That was great. That was good. We could have went was, forever. I can, That's why I, I'm, I a, like, I'm a talker, as you discovered. I, think I am too. I want to have, like, just sit here and keep talking, which is what we're doing. I it's think like, that's one of the things why I enjoyed uh, working on Fox and doing the, the fight analyst stuff. Obviously, right. I get to take one of my passions and then just talk about it. It's <laughs> exactly. Like, I do it for free um, every day with my students and my right, staff right. at work. We're always discussing Why not get paid UFC. for it, right? <laughs> exactly, that's, that was right. my pretty much uh, thought yeah. as well. So, yeah. so was, here uh, we are in the secret sauce area. So this is members only, right? So this is it. So the real, the real gold now, not that he held anything back, no, but no. the real gold, if you have any, to share with our members only, what would that be? What, what's well, it's a couple of, again, of a couple of those uh, sayings that, um, that, that kind of struck me very early. And, and again, it comes down to, down to relationships. I'm very big on developing relationships, on honesty, um, and, and being as authentic as possible. So, I mean, there's two that kind of, I kind of, live my life around um one is don't ever trust someone who can't be nice to animals you know ah. <laughs> i know it comes back to the pets but again it just shows character i mean if you know someone kicks the cat as they're walking by well it, it and it comes down to judge someone by how they treat someone who can do nothing for them right if they're and it's the same and, and it's very similar to would you trust someone who's rude to the waiter but nice to you? Right. Maybe they need something from you, so they're nice. When they don't need something from you, well, what are they going to do? And again, um, so it comes down to that authenticity, the building real relationships. Right. Um, a good person is going to be, even when I'm upset and the, 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 the restaurant has made a mistake, I'm not rude to the waiter. It's not their fault. They're exactly. trying to deliver a service, and it's, you know, they're trying to do a job. Don't be rude to them. You know, very simple. Yep. Same thing. Um, last night, I coincidentally, I was dropping one of my staff off at the um, train station because he can't yep. drive. So I always stay late and make sure I drive him back. And there was a homeless person. Um, so he's got like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, can you help? And I went, look, no problems. Parked my car, went across the road and bought him dinner. Right. So, and again, you know, I didn't have to do that. I was in my car. I quite easily could have closed the door and just driven off. But, you know, sometimes it is nice to be able to, to give back. Absolutely. And, um, and when you look at how people treat those around them who can do, again, nothing for them, um, you can see it in some businesses where they realize someone is not going to be a customer and they start treating them they rudely. Just write them off. Right? Write them off. But what they don't realize is that person may not be a customer now, but they may be a customer in a week, in a month, in a year. We're talking to someone or about the interaction. They may walk right. out the door and talk to a friend, to a potential customer. Now, if you are rude to them, well, then you've ruined the opportunity to get more customers. Now, again, I, it's not about the return, right. but that just kind of highlights that it does make a difference. And, and it comes down to that karma, you know what yeah. I mean? You, you be good, you act like a honest, authentic person, and then that will come back to you in, right. in droves. And it's what we're doing to ourselves too, because in rudeness and anger and angst and grief and all that stuff, we're actually contracting in our own well, bodies. Well, it's just a reflection so we're of actually, ourselves. Yeah, just poisoning ourselves. So very, very um, intuitive, and I really appreciate that. We could, again, talk on and on about that, but we're gonna stop the secret sauce there. I want you to add that to your secret sauce journal. That's right, pour it on top. Pour that all over the top, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.